Welcome to the plus add-on tutorial. Today I'm gonna demonstrate a flipbox uh, widget with you. You can select the layout first of all. You have the option for the listing and the carousel. This is the option for the listing and here is the option for the carousel. Right. There is another option flip type. You can flip it or horizontal or the vertical. You have both the options. Then you have the box height option, which will be have responsive option. Like if you want to change the height in the mobile or in the tablet, you can do it easily from here. Then you have the option for the front side, the title, the icon selection. You can select the image or you can select the SVG. There is the collection of pre-built SVG icon options as well. You can change its color and everything from here. Like if you select the SVG, you have the different options over here. The duration, once you change the duration, you have to select something, someone else option. Just to make it work right you can change the color here all the options here the v and everything In the icon option, you have the font awesome and icons mind. Icon mind also have lots of options available. You can choose anyone from there. And for font awesome, all the icons are also available. So you can choose as for your needs. Then for the back side, you have the option for the description and the button. You can turn it the turn button on from here. There are three styles: the text, button link, icon font icon position spacing for the icon every options are available here you can see the button it's a black let me show you how to change its color and everything so you can go to the back button option and every options are available the padding the typography typography of all the options available then you have the normal in the text color you can select the white or anything you want you can see the effect in the background you can select something like black or the let's choose the green it will be something like this and you have the border width option border style option border color option you also have the box shadow option you can see the button over here and the same for the hover option for example if you want to change the text to black or something on hover you can change it here you have all the options available for the back button now let's go to the front icon option in the styling tab there are the options for this if you want to make it square and then there is the icon size option, width option. There is also hexagon, pentagon, square, rotate, and all other options. Then you have the icon color option for the normal and for the hover. The same for the background type, right? And then you have the background body color option over here. Let's go to the front title. You have the full typography options available title color title hover color you can choose from the classic and gradient options and there is the title top space in between the uh, icon and the title title bottom space as well then you have the back description option all the typography description color description hover color you can change everything from here we already discussed about back button we have the background options of 
available here. You can select the color or the image if you want to delete an image and you want to choose a color you can select any solid color as well in the background so you can design the way you want this is the for the front part and this is for the back part in the background let's choose something like green or the, so you will have design like this and if you select any image for the images you have the option for the position attachment repeat size every options are available for the front and the back part you also have the options for the box shadow it's the same for the back and for the front there are some other extra options available for the box padding for the whole effects if you choose grow when you scroll it will grow and then flip so there are some other options also available then you have the responsivity responsive visibility option so you can turn it on or off in different devices as per your needs and you will have on scroll view animation you have the advanced tab and for in that you have plus extras so you have all the options magic scroll tooltip mouse move parallax tilt 3d effect overlay special effect continuous animation you can see our separate video for plus extra options so if you have any other questions write us on the comment box below hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on flipbox subscribe to our channel for more video tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites see you in the next video